Gladys Knight has made a lot of great music during her career. I, I still hear my father playing Midnight Train in Georgia over and over again in our living room. She's also made a lot of famous friends, including Oprah Winfrey, and that's why Gladys is performing a special concert on own. It happened at the Apollo Theater, and it's part celebration, part reunion, and our special correspondent, Janet Mock, was there. In good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forever. So what's one thing that you're looking forward to doing on the Apollo stage? I just like being up there. It just takes me back. It's history. There's a reunion with Stevie and Dion and plenty of solo tunes as we were privileged to be the only ones allowed in on the rehearsal. Gladys knows this place. She played the Apollo as a teen. We just roamed these halls and we did so much prankster stuff in here, you know. What was one of your biggest pranks? <laughs> we were upstairs. They used to call it the crow's nest. If there was a brand new artist that was on the show, you know, <laughs> just take chicken bones and drop them down on stage. They didn't know where them chicken bones were coming from. Now, as the debut of Winfrey's Legends Own at the Apollo, Gladys makes a triumphant return to where it all began. I know that you also have history with, with Oprah Winfrey. I know that you yes. serenaded her on her 40th birthday. I, I remember did. watching that on TV. <laughs> I did. I was so nervous. I was so nervous. We were just all so very, very, very proud of her. See, that's the way I felt when I first met Gladys. Um, by the way, her concert is the first of four on OWN, one each week. She's followed by Smokey Robinson, the Isley Brothers, and then Earth, Wind, and Fire.